The Klezmatics uh, play klezmer music, which is Eastern European Jewish music, so very influenced by a lot of the other musics in Eastern Europe. And we also do Yiddish songs, and we have our own New York kind of twist on, on klezmer music. We're very much rooted and related to the traditional Eastern European dance party music, instrumental, and the vocal music uh, from Eastern Europe, Yiddish roots. So more and more we play more original stuff, but we try to keep a kind of direct like lineage connection influence uh, coming from that music. So what does it mean when you try to define klezmer music, try to define Jewish music? How is it different than other kind of styles of music? Well, I, klezmer being being um, the origin being older than what happened in Eastern Europe, some of the scales are Middle Eastern scales. Some of the scales are um, the same Jewish scales that would that. Israelis would use, you know, that um, some of the same scales that come through Sephardic music, but uh, the, the rhythms and the usage of it are more closely um, associated with Romanian music and Hungarian music and Polish. And so some compare it to, in, in similar ways, to gypsy music, so it has uh, a different vibe to it. For me as a musician, a lot of the technical challenge, really fun, fast melodies. Why is that? What, what's, the, what's the technical challenge? Well, they just are. They're really tricky tunes. The, 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 the original music, the Jewish Eastern European music that came over to, to New York, say, in the 20s and 30s, 40s, from Moldova and Ukraine, from the Pale of Settlement in the Eastern Europe, um, they're really rich, um, kind of technically challenging melodies and interesting scales. and. And then we open it up for some improvisation and things, which is not so traditional. Especially in the Hasidic world, uh, there was there's much value in actually songs without words. How do you see that in the scale of uh, presenting a message? Songs with words and the nigunim, which are without. I think that that songs without words are extremely powerful and they really unify people first of all because people can sing them easily and I think there are mystical connections with music and spirituality that we could not possibly understand so I, I really do think there is something to it um, that, that, that they bring a certain connection with people and, and a certain joy that words almost can't explain. Yiddish is a great language. It's, it's so descriptive. Um, it, it really sounds like the words. You, you know.